Okay, sing Mummy's favorite song for Grandma and Granda. I said certified freak. No, no, no. Said <laughs> Ah, uh, modern 2022 women. <laughs> oh my god. All right, anyway. Um, yeah, so these these girls that are like certified freaks in quotations, these are the ones that want to then uh, turn around and make good decisions in the future, right? But of course, that's total BS uh, because your past has a large bearing on your future actions. So can you imagine how embarrassing it is for the kid when, when they go to school and um, the people find out that their mom is a certified freak, quote unquote? It's ridiculous. Man, twinkle, twinkle. Oh, okay. What a mess. Hey, Mama. Hi, honey. How was the honeymoon? It was good. It was so romantic and so special. Oh, that sounds so good. But, um... Oh, no. Oh, so it's like me me calling my mom back from the honeymoon. So so literally the girl got married just for the purpose of having the honeymoon and the wedding, and then that's it. The the marriage is broken, right? Yeah, when I got back from the honeymoon, he changed. He started using these awful four-letter words that I've never even heard of. Uh Mom, can you please come pick me up? What what did she say? What were the four what what did he say what were the four-letter words? He started using words like Dust, cook, iron, wash. <laughs> the mom is like, <laughs> the mom is like, what? You mean doing wifely duties and you don't know how to do that? Yeah, that's what happens in 2022. The, the girls, they don't know how to do any of that crap. They don't know how to dust. They don't know how to cook. They don't know how to clean. They don't know how to iron. What? What are those? I'm a strong, independent woman. I am the table. I don't need to do any of this crap. Hello and welcome to the Helios blog. My name is Helios, here for another reaction video. If you're new to the channel, liking the content, please hit the sub, hit all for notifications. If you're listening on the podcast, give me a five-star review, give me a follow. If you agree or disagree with my points, please leave a comment. That's what the comment section is for. If you'd like me to comment on a video compilation, Reddit post, blog post, please send it to the Helios blog at gmail.com. Calm. Let's continue. Also, you may have noticed that I've put a, a nice video in the background. Um, so this is Metroid Fusion 100% Tool Assisted Speedrun. Just, just uh, Google it. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this for a bunch of videos. It's just so you have something to watch in the background, basically. And I, I'll put a bunch of, uh, of uh, speedruns in the background, just, just so you have something to watch while the video is paused and while I'm talking. Um, again, like. You can see I'm not using the whole video. I'm just I'm just giving you something to uh uh to, to enjoy. Um, please, uh, if you are enjoying that video in the background, go check out the original. Um, it has lots of views on on YouTube already. All right, let's continue. They literally wake up at the crack of dawn they go to work for eight hours they do the exact same job over and over again every single day and then they come home and they get their set paycheck at the end of their two weeks that is selling your body that is objectifying yourself uh yeah i've already commented on this um uh yeah in in a in a previous video so um the idea is um that yes um effectively being a waged worker is selling your body for money true um, but it also doesn't affect your ability to, to pair bond or to get a, a partner, right? As a man. Whereas for a woman, if you're sleeping with a random guy who's paying you money, you're ruining your ability to have a marriage, a relationship, to pair bond, etc. And that's the difference. Even though both are technically selling your body, the, the argument is poor. Because again, that's, um, um, it, it's not just about selling your body. It's what you are selling your body Four. You see what I'm saying? Okay. One sec, I'm just moving this. Uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. I can go from this <laughs> to this. Oh, no. Oh, God. So, what she's talking about is by using makeup, filters, veneers, etc. Uh, she has changed her appearance almost totally. You can't recognize the girl at all, right? And that's the idea, right? Like women nowadays, um, 
women nowadays, what they do is their basically their whole mo is tricks, right? It's not to be a genuine person. It's not for love. It's for manipulation, and the the sake of that manipulation is to get what they want, which is uh, a relationship with the man of value that they can then divorce and extract resources out of. And it's no surprise to anyone why men are walking away if that's what women are like. Gone is the time where you would have these nice, natural girls who didn't show themselves off to every guy online and who didn't sleep around. Gone is that time. And so it's no surprise why men are walking away. All right, uh, let's continue. Mm. Who are these hoes on your Snapchat? Bro, what? So uh, the, the girlfriend comes in and she's like, what are you doing on Snapchat? It's like exactly how a mom talks to a kid. And then she throws his phone, right? Like out of, out of jealousy. But again, just think about it. Women are allowed to get away with this and not go into a metal box. But if you as a man, if you do that, you're going to a metal box for a very long time. So again, standards for thee, but not for me. All right, let's continue. Out of my school and I look over to the car next to me and I see a couple making out. And naturally, of course, I don't care because it's college. However, I get to my next class and I see that the girl that was sitting in that car making out with that guy is sitting next to a whole different guy and holding hands with him. Uh-oh! You mean you just noticed women's dualistic mating strategy on full display right in front of your face? Yeah! Uh, a lot of guys, they, they learn the truth this way, right? Except they're the actual guy. So here's the dualistic mating strategy. The girls want to have one guy for the good genes, you know, that they can sleep with and have bedroom fun with. And they want another guy for the resources, attention, commitment, validation, etc. Uh, and the reason is because women want a super attractive man who also uh, protects and provides for them. But often they can't get that in the same guy. And so they split it into two different guys, right? And so there you go. And this is especially true when women are at their, are at their absolute highest uh, uh, fertility, right? When they're at the age of 18 to 23. So I'm thinking now, oh, you're a typical college hoe, like whatever, not my business. But then he asks her where she was earlier. And this is where it gets interesting. She looks at him dead in the eye and replies with, oh, I was at home helping my mom. Classic. Now the poor guy believed it. Exactly. And so, again, so many guys in 2022, they don't believe that women can actually lie, that women can actually be deceitful, that women can actually be evil, that women can have an agenda that's against them. They don't believe it, right? And so they get destroyed. All right, let's go on to the article that, uh, that I've written here. How to be a quality man. Men, be men. I keep talking uh, in my articles about men of value and in my, in my uh, videos as well. I'm going to list all the qualities that I believe a man of value should have. And I hope that hearing this list will help you supplement the qualities you already have. Let's get into it, shall we? So the first one is fitness. Men uh, of value, is uh, they're physically fit. They're the protectors and providers of the human race. And you cannot be a protector without being physically fit. You must be able to protect your family in the event that things go bad. This is why I recommend that you're not only fit, but you know some sort of martial art and you know how to shoot guns as well. These skills could save your life and that is no exaggeration. I know guys, in the Western world in 2022, it's fairly safe, but again, you need to know how to protect yourself because in the event that things do go south, you need to be prepared. Skills, that's the next thing. A man of value has skills. He knows how to do things that other men cannot. He might know how to write well, speak well. You might know the truth of the world. You might know how to be a welder or an electrician or a plumber or whatever. Maybe he knows about the human body or how the stock market works. Maybe he speaks multiple languages or plays multiple instruments. A man of value has skills that he can provide to other people in order to bring value to the world. The basis of male power is skill and ability. Next is money. A man of value has resources. As previously mentioned, men are the protectors and providers for the human race. It is impossible to be a man of value without being able to provide. That means you'll likely have to work long hours. Men of value usually work 60 hours per week or more. Although you could be smart, 
uh, and work on a side business, right? And then when the side business explodes, then you won't have to, um, you know, work 60 hours a week anymore. You can work less. Just look at the, um, I think I think the book is called The 15-Minute Work Week. Anyway, it's an exaggeration, but the idea still stands. Once you're able to unchain your time from the money you earn, then um, you're able to make much more money than uh, being a waged worker. That's the idea. And this is especially true if you're in the building phase, right? So age 18 to 40. Uh, though uh, most men of value are so-called workaholics and they'll work until the day they die. Uh, important connections is next for a man of value. The world is about people. You should surround yourself with other men of value. Once you have men of value around you, you should make the hard decisions as they do. Listen to the older men of value around you and learn from their wisdom. Mentorship is extremely important to success in life. As you build your value and surround yourself with men of value, you'll have more and more important connections. This will skyrocket your success in life and further increase your chances of even further success. The hardest part is to succeed once. Once you are rich, the rich get richer. Okay, and the next part, uh, wisdom. So obviously, as you get older and gain more experience, you'll gain wisdom. And wisdom um, is making the right choices and doing the hard thing day in and day out. You must then use your wisdom to help others, right? Uh, to help other men to achieve as you have. You must be the, na the man that you needed when you were younger and help other men to reach the height of their abilities as well. Your wisdom should not be held jealousy to your chest, but shared. All right, back to this uh, compilation here. Was supposed to go on a date today. Was supposed to go on a date today, but last night she went out with her friends. Uh, and her IG story was her three-way kissing two of the guys. A reminder that dating ain't for me. <laughs> exactly. So guys, one of the relationship rules is your girl is not allowed to go on girls' night out. That's what... Again, girls' night out is a direct disrespect to your relationship. Because what is girl night out? Girls' night out is women going and getting the attention of other guys. And very often, girls' night out is more. It's sleeping with other guys. So again, she's doing the AFBB thing, right? She's sleeping with the guy to get the good genes and she's using you for attention, validation, commitment, butler services, taxi services, etc. Don't be that guy. You will end up alone and miserable. I'm telling you. All right, uh, let's continue. I need to say this to the ladies that are pursuing athletes or dating athletes, specifically professional athletes, okay? Um, stop burying your fucking life six feet under because you see some fucking zeros on his contract and now you think you can quit your fucking job and everything else and just piggyback off of his success. That's great. Good for him. Until he fucking cheats on you, then what? Then what? She's telling on herself. So that's what she did. And now she regrets it, right? Uh, but here's the truth. If you want to be with a man that has that much value, okay? If you want to be with a man that has that much value, you must expect to share him. Don't complain when that guy cheats on you. Because to be honest, he's not cheating, he's exercising options. If he's the, uh, sorry, if you're the woman that he comes to at the end of the day, you're winning. So uh, I, I think that this, this concept is ridiculous, right? And then what she's making an argument for in this TikTok is be a strong, independent woman because then you don't have to worry about men cheating on you. You can still take care of yourself. Well, either way, you, you're still cared for, right? If you stay with a guy who's, who's sleeping with other women and you don't complain, then he's never going to leave because he sees that you're um, uh, ride or die, right? So there you go. You can't have your cake and eat it too. If you want a man of that high value, well, guess what? You're going to need to do the things that he... You're going to need to, to compromise a little bit. More than a little. What's up? Then you're stuck in this relationship because you don't have on your own. So while he's f***ing other bitches, you're self-imploding because you don't have okay? Don't be this bitch. Get your bag on your own. Be successful. Get, yeah, exactly. So what she's saying is become the successful man and you'll be happy. But that's not true because women's biological uh, hard wiring, their programming is to be is to be with a man of value, get married and have his children. So being a boss on your own does nothing good for women. It actually hurts them. So it's utterly ridiculous for this girl to be suggesting this. It's not helpful. It's only destructive.
All right, let's continue. Successful on your own, not to mention men fucking love this. 99% of the time, the women that they end up with, it's because she already had it on her own no, beforehand. That's not okay. Why. That's not why that's a lie. The reason why men go for certain women uh, is the following traits, okay? Fit, feminine, submissive, cooperative, and bedroom fun loyal, as well as friendly. Those, those are the qualities that men want. And this is especially true if the man is extremely successful. A man wants peace. He wants to come home and have an agreeable girl who's going to be a helpmate. He doesn't want this, what, what, like this girl's attitude. He doesn't want that. And this girl's sabotaging other girls by giving this advice. And she's doing it on purpose. She's sabotaging them because she wants those athletes for herself. She doesn't want other women to do it correctly. Women do this kind of stuff. So just keep in mind that this man is an addition, not a f***ing replacement to your current life. So some of you men need to understand when you can and can't raise your motherfucking voice. So let me demonstrate. If this is you, you better lower your motherfucking tone when you're talking to me. And this, you're pushing it. At this length, you should be able to ask for a sandwich, but you still need to say please. From this length on growing, you won't even have to raise your damn voice to me. You don't even have to use a tone with me. Your breakfast will already be ready for you in the bed. Your damn lunch will already be packed and ready for you to go to work. <laughs> so she's she's talking about the guy's uh you know what size and the bigger it is the more submissive and pleasant she is i mean it's not wrong the sad part is that she's not wrong this is like this is the sad part of 2022 the sad part is that these girls literally judge you on qualities that you cannot control your height your you know what size those are things that no man has control over but women shame men over them right? She's like, if, yeah, if, if you're, uh, you know, what is small, then don't expect me to be nice and submissive, you know, like ridiculous, but it's true. That's, that's exactly how they act. Okay. Time for our joke Tinder profile segment. Again, these Tinder profiles are not real or maybe they are, but I, I don't think so. Um, but these jokes, they have elements of truth to them that I think we could learn from and that's why I'm doing them okay so you can get an idea for how to analyze these tinder profiles when you're using online dating okay so this is uh senora who's 24 so it's probably not a real name senora means lady in Spanish uh, she's a research assistant I'm the kind of girl you can take home to your family I'll then get closer to them than you are and will slowly phase you out so what's the idea the idea is I'm going to get you into a long-term relationship Chad I'm going to get you, Chad, into that. Then I'm going to sidle up into your, uh, beside your parents. And I'm going to ally myself with them so that they will shame you into staying with me. You see the idea? So this is, basically, it's one of the strategies that women use to stay in relationships. It's not about love. It's not about commitment. It's not about being a submissive, loyal wife. No, it's about using manipulation tactics in order to remain in the good position that you've earned for yourself. You see? Okay. Back to the compilation here. And by the time you get home, you will have dinner with me in lingerie. Try me if you want to. Check, please. I'm done. <laughs> uh, me on the way back to my toxic ex. And then she's like dancing. Oh, and then uh, it's, it's his charges. He has domestic, uh, domestic charges, violence in the second degree. Right. So uh, these girls, right, they say that they want a nice guy. But if you look at their history, right, if you look at their relationship history and what they've done, what you can see is that they actively choose the men they complain about. They choose the men who are A-word. They choose the men who, who uh, you know, slap them around a bit. They choose the men that are rude. They choose the men that have dark triad traits. They choose those men actively and then expect you to be like, oh, honey, I feel so bad. No, you made the poor decision and you need to suffer the consequences. Ridiculous. Okay, next. I just think it's funny how the tables have turned. It used to be men with such high standards of what they wanted in a woman. Still have high standards. But plot twist, these women are demanding more. No. Yeah, they are demanding more. And what's happening? What, what is the result of women demanding more and more while bringing nothing to the table? 
The result is the marriage rate right now in 2022 is six out of a thousand. That's the marriage rate. It's basically zero. And that's too many. Because women aren't bringing anything to the table, men are not committing to them. Because why would they? What is the point? If you commit to a girl in 2022, at best it's neutral. At worst, you lose your children, you lose your house, you lose your money, you lose your, um, you lose your sanity. Uh, you, you, like 20 years of your life that you worked, you lose that too. Like w what is the purpose of that? It's, and so many men are waking up to the truth that they're not getting married anymore. So these girls are like, I am the table. I don't have to bring anything. I just increase my demands ever higher and men just have to meet them. Uh, no, men are walking away. That's the truth. No longer accepting the bare minimum. No longer accepting bottom of the barrel. Shit. Except she is telling on herself. She has accepted that. That's why she's making this TikTok. Because those are the only men that she chooses. And then she complains about them. Choose better men and you'll be fine. But they don't do that. We have standards now and these men are hurt by it. I have standards. This is a translation. I have standards now and men are hurt by it. No, they're not. They'll still ignore you. Because as your standards go up and your value goes down, your likelihood of getting another man like that actually decreases. So no, you're wrong. All right, uh, let's go on to the article. Five reasons why we need to ditch the idea of the friend zone for good. Right, because the friend zone supposedly doesn't exist. Like, this is total BS. Friendship, it's a word that's supposed to have positive connotations, right? The word reminds me, solipsism, of lovely things. Things like feeling supported, loved, doing exciting things and making happy uh, memories of the people I adore. This sounds like boyfriend, doesn't it? I would hope that friendship would evoke a similar joy for everyone, shaming men. But here's the idea. The friend zone is women treating a man like a boyfriend while giving him nothing in return, right? So, so uh, sorry, the man treating her like a boyfriend while giving nothing in return. But if I tell one of my male friends, one of, okay, so she has multiple orbiters that she uses for, you know, time, attention, $200 dinners, validation, etc., Especially a friend that might have re expressed romantic or bedroom fun interest in me, that he's my best friend, some people seem to view my friendly feelings as a bad thing. Yeah, you're using the, the poor guy. Or when female leads on my favorite TV shows emphasize how much they value the friendships with their male friends, viewers tend not to believe them, eagerly waiting for them to return to male leads' affections. Why is it that a word that's supposed to signify a beautiful, special relationship has an undesirable connotation? It's because... There is no such thing as male friends. That's why. There is no such thing. Male friends do not exist. Every single male friend a girl supposedly has wants to sleep with her. There is no such thing. Being considered someone's friend should be thought of as an honor. Translation. Being my friend, you should, you should be honored to be my friend. Yet it isn't. It's crucial that we unpack the way popular culture is influencing how we think about friendship. So again, guys, it's just utterly, utterly ridiculous. Uh, I'm referring to the friend zone, an idea which is ubiquitous these days. It seems that one can't go for a few hours on the internet without reading or hearing about it. It's become a popular trope, the basis of a number of jokes and memes, and a nearly universally recognized concept. The thing is, the idea of the friend zone is rooted in a number of oppressive assumptions. Uh-huh. You see, we're all socialized to believe a number of things about relationships and bedroom fun, and a lot of those things are incorrect and harmful for women. In many ways, the idea of the friend zone perpetuates some of those ideas. For this reason, it's incredibly important that we think of the, uh, of the friend zone critically. Myth number one. Nice men deserve to be with the women they desire. Uh, yeah, actually, it is a myth. Um, men believe it, but it's actually, it's actually a myth. Women never, okay, sometimes, 99.95% of the time, they do not go after men who are nice. 99.95% of the time, they choose a guy who is strong, who's a winner, who's dominant, who's handsome, but not nice. Nice is not in the criteria. Nice is uh, maybe a helpful side benefit sometimes, but it's, it's not in the selection criteria. Uh, okay, the idea of the friend zone is as follows. Person A, who's a man, is interested romantically and in a bedroom fun sense in person B, you know, in a woman. However, 
Uh, the woman sees the man as a friend that isn't interested in them in a romantic or bedroom fun sense. Being in the friend zone is when someone views you as a friend such that they will never view you as a potential romantic or bedroom fun partner. A lot of the discourse surrounding the idea of the friend zone places the man as the friend zone and the woman as the friend zoner. That's right. Um, uh, often the discourse on the friend zone shames women for friend zoning men who are nice to them. Um, it, it doesn't shame them. Um, if women just do it, right? And men learn so that they stop being these useful idiots, right? Um, because if you're a good person and you want to sleep with or date someone, you should be able to do so, right? Well, no. What about the other person? Yeah, so b basically the idea is this. Uh, don't shame us for friend zoning you. We want to use you for attention, validation, taxi cab services, etc. And want to not feel bad about it, right? Even though it's making use of men and wasting their time which is much more valuable than any friend relationship you might have with a girl that you could spend literally doing anything else. All right, guys, uh, we're going to end the video there. Again, if you're watching on the YouTube, uh, please hit the sub, hit all for notifications. If you're listening on the podcast, give me a five-star review, give me a follow. If you're new to the channel, liking the content, uh, thanks, thanks for coming out. Uh, if you agree or disagree with my points, uh, leave a comment. That's what the comment section is for. Please let me know if you like the gameplay video in the background. Uh, I'm thinking for the next few videos, uh, or for the next many videos, I'm going to put uh, speedruns in the background. Um, and this is just so you have something to watch when the video is standing still. It's so it's a little bit more interesting visually. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for listening, guys, and taking the time out of your busy day. Uh, I really do appreciate it, especially if you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please remember to do all of the following. Like the video for the algorithm. Comment on the video. I respond to all comments and I'll give you a heart. Subscribe and hit the bell so you can see my content on your feed. Check out all of my content on other platforms. It spreads the reach of the channel. YouTube, bit.ly slash Helios YouTube. Rumble, bit.ly slash Helios Rumble. My blog is realheliosblog.com My podcast bit.ly slash Helios Podcast My Patreon patreon.com slash the Helios Blog You can also support the show at bit.ly slash Helios Donations and buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios Books Thank you so much for all of your support